ladies and gentlemen, it is week 14 here in the NFL fantasy world. Uh, haven't really came up with a name for it yet. Uh, I do have a name for our, the connected online franchise with me and my friends, but uh, this one I do not. So we'll just carry on as is. Um, but as you can see, Ravens, Dolphins, this is the first of two Ravens games that will finish out the season. As you can see, we do have the... Uh, th this is a huge game for both teams. Uh, the Dolphins need to win. The Ravens need to win. Uh, the, I think the Ravens probably need to win more so than the Dolphins do. Because of the Browns, the Ravens are trying to get in as a wild card team. The Dolphins still stand a chance of winning their division without uh, this win. Whereas the Ravens are solely based on getting this win and making sure that they get in as a wild card team. Because it's it's just seeming more and more and more like it that the Cleveland Browns. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard me correctly. The Cleveland Browns look like they are going to win the AFC North. And it it's just uh, I I don't understand it. I can't explain it. All I know is it's happening. And we're going to move forward, and I'm going to turn it over to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for the call of this wonderful game live from Pro Player Stadium or whatever the hell they're calling it. I believe it's Hard Rock Cafe Stadium now after the remodel, but whatever it was called in this game, uh, that's where we're headed to. So thanks, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy the game. To Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 14 matchup. Ravens, Dolphins coming up on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 14 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Bill Sims getting set for this important matchup late in the year. The playoff chase is on, and every game is an absolute must. Partner, how about it before kickoff? Well, the games are an absolute must. Throw caution, throw that right out the window. This is about who's willing to go out there and play with abandonment. That's what it takes to win big games. That's what it takes to beat a team on the other side that's good. And I think we're going to see two teams here today willing to take chances and do whatever it takes to win. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Sebastian Janikowski has it teed up for the opening kickoff. the football at the three and he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Carr is going to be a quarterback today trying to do a better job of protecting the football here today. First down here. Gets the handle here. Chancellor's the one who brings him to the ground. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out, they'll throw it over the top. Lynch is in the backfield. First down and 10. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Going to lose yards here. Here's a look at the Dolphins' offense, starting with the offensive line. They're right up there in the top five when it comes to running the football, and that's not a surprise to anyone.
That leads us to second down. The Ravens defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Pulls it in. And now here's the Ravens defense stacks up. It's thanks to this unit that in the takeaway giveaway category, they rank top 10 in turnover differential. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Third and long. Up in the air, and he's got the catch. Just when you thought the offense was going to march down and score, look who awakens. The defense makes the play. Yeah, nice job by the defense at time. They got the speed on, the, on their side. They use it, and they stop the offense at time on the third down. Let's see what he can do here. Picks up eight here. So the rookie quarterback, it's not his first time onto the field, but still getting his feet wet in the NFL. Yeah, you know, and Jim, and every week it just gets a little easier, better. When you walk out there, you can settle those nerves down please, faster please. each game you each game you play. So it's going to be fun to see how he does here today. They send the tight end in motion. First and ten. They'll go ground to the outside. He's got the chain moving first down. When a coach can have a run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. Take it down at the 33. And now, let's take a look at the Ravens' offense. This is an explosive bunch that ranks first in the league in scoring. Second down and 10. He's going to get another carry. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. And here's the Dolphins' defense. They are one of the best in the NFL when it comes to total defense. See what they do on this third down situation. Out of the shotgun. He's scrambling now. Running room. Dives down, and that'll end the play. On defense nowadays, I don't care who's back there as a quarterback. You must be aware and not let them out of the pocket. Any quarterback in the NFL now can scramble out there and pick up some yards. Good job that time with the QB, and he gets the first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. First down, following the long play. Play fake. Pump fake, not yet. Looking long, and that's Lewis who almost had the pick. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time to drop, and this Let's time go. that was a bad drop by the defense. Here's the handoff. Moore is going to make the tackle. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Finds his mark. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. Nice tackle. Job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Tackled just three yards short of the first. That's a good job by the quarterback. He read the defense, nothing open deep, so he throws it short, and it puts him in great position for a second down play call. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. Following the run, it's now third and seven. 
Lynch is in the backfield. Cars standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incomplete. The Dolphins will punt it. Fields it cleanly and starts his return. The tackle was made. First down here. Offense lines up here. Let's go. He'll take the snap from the gun. And he's thrown to the ground. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do, and he goes down for the sack. He'll keep it on the play fake. Looking long, and they can't connect. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Let's go. Keeps it here. Down the field. Almost intercepted that time. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. He's got a chance to return this one. They bring him to the turf. First down coming up. Second down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Setting up screen. He's got the catch. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Now inside the red zone. They were very good at finishing off drives last week in this situation. Here's the first snap after the big play. Toss, ball comes out. Oh, they pop up the football, and the defense takes possession. you got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it, the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. The give. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The defense gets the sack. I don't know who to blame here or give credit to. Blame the quarterbacks for not changing the protection or just give a lot of credit where that's where I'm going. What a job by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they get to the QB with the blitz and take him down. Third down and 11. Takes off with it. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. the 44. Well, I can't blame the punt return at that time. That was just excellent coverage by the punt team. Tight end in motion. The Dolphins have it at the 44. And the throw, it's incomplete. This will be second down. Split backfield here. Cars back in shotgun formation. Brings it in. Well, they complete the pass, Jim. It doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Hey, 
The Ravens come out in the nickel. Third and nine. Looking across the middle. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. One quarter complete. And we'll take a break as you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Together, we make football. Share your football story at togetherwemakefootball.com. We're back here in this low-scoring affair. Tim Maste now called on to punt. Avoid being sacked for a third time. Gonna try and scramble now. On the money. Moore's there to take him down. Defense is about discipline. And when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers, a little overzealous. They get out of the rush lanes. The quarterback gets outside and makes the play. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you've got to be able to throw the football and pick up some. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down and five. They'll run it here. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. The Ravens come out. Two tight ends on the field. First down at the 48. Scrambling now. Here's the throw, and it's off the mark. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. up the first down the tackles made and the first down is picked up when you play man to man against this receiver you're going to have a tough time quarterback's a good thrower really hard for a defensive back to stay with him the Ravens come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation brings it into his body games 19 this is turning into quite a drive, Bill. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up, the defense off balance. He's turning to the ground. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than have an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. The Ravens have it at the 24. Looks to his left. He makes the catch. Gains 12. What? Time by the quarterback looks down the field. Nobody open, so he throws the drag route. Coming across the field, and it's a nice catch. Just short of the first down. Third and three. Gets it out for the completion. That's a gain of eight. The Ravens had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. That is play number 10 on this drive. What a drive this has been. Mounting a serious drive. And it stopped the play right there. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Second down here. This has been a long drive so far. Takes it from the eye. 
Lewis is able to read that play and make the hit. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not The offense's 12th play of the drive. This long drive continues. Third and goal from the five. Touchdown, Baltimore. It is so disappointing, and you don't score. Well, the offense doesn't have to know that disappointment this time. Good job, good play call, and a beautiful throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Ravens getting set to kick it away. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. They come to the line and it's first down. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Brought down at the 26. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Olsen's playing out of position in the backfield here. Second and four. Heading right. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Cars in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Christian Ponder backed off the line, shotgun formation. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Intercepted. He's brought to a halt. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. Let's that go. time they did, they got the interception. First down at the 34. Looking to go deep and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. And Cruz is going to get set in the slot for this snap. A catch and the first. Well, when you get time in the pocket against cover three, it's easy to see down the field towards the sidelines and you get easy completions just like that last one. First and 10, play action. Running away from the pressure. That's second down coming up. Wide receivers are bunched up. Out of the gun. Throws to the right. Has his man. Touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. Touchdown, Touchdown Ravens. Ravens. When you got a lead and you march down the field and you add on to that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Dolphins offense now marches onto the field. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Second down. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Offense lines up here. Hunters back in shotgun formation. They're going to get him here for a sack. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. Into the open. Fights through contact. 
Touchdown. This game is tight. This is not one of the faster running backs in the NFL. So for him to get through the line of scrimmage and go for a long touchdown run, you've got to blame the defense. Bad angles of the... No doubt about it, but lack of hustle gives up the touchdown. The Dolphins line up now for the point after. Count it. The Ravens kickoff return team is on the field. After seeing their defense surrender some points, the score's 14 to 7. Seven before he's taken down. First down, offense ready for the snap. And Cruz is lined up in the slot. Keeps it on the play fake. Airing it out. Nice catch. It's obvious that the game plan coming in was let's get the football in the hands of our wide receiver early and often. Shoot, if it was me, I'd say get that football to him every game. That would be my priority because he's one of the best ones in the NFL. And once he catches the football, look out. Still got it after the play action. Very nearly intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Oh, almost picked off that time. It's third goal right here in a close game. This offense, they want to take control. If they score right here, that could give them control of this game. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. It's out of the pocket. Touchdown, Baltimore. Anytime the offense is near the goal line, you've got to be alert for the quarterback moving and trying to run with the football. Nobody on the defense is watching the quarterback, and he just scrambles in easily for the touchdown. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. The touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Lynch is in the backfield. Here we go, here we go. 118. They go screen with Lynch. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Split backfield here. Here we go, here we go. Right 18. Christian Ponder from the shotgun. As Olsen. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Here we go, here we go. Right Thunder's got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. The Dolphins now move the chains. The Dolphins decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. The defense comes out of the nickel. Tight ends in motion here. Thunder's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the reception. Gains 16. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. Here we go, here we go. Half, half, half. First down at the 50. Trying to work that left side. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. 
Here we go. Here we go. Pow, pow, pow. The Dolphins will take the snap from the 45. Going for it all. Christian Ponder almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Offense lines up here. They send the tight end in motion. The Dolphins will take the snap from the 45. Makes the catch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. That does it for the first half. Dolphins trail on this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The Dolphins haven't played their best football and trailed because of it. The Ravens will want to come out after the half and really put the pressure on from the start. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Ravens lined up at the five. Pass will be completed out of the gun. And he's going to go 11 yards for the score. Ravens is up now by seven. Dolphins on offense midway through the second. Under duress, and the pass is picked off. Ravens defense comes away with the turnover. Offense on the field now after the pick. Catch is made after a quick pass. After the short pass, he'll score. That puts them on top by 14. Now to late in the second. He'll go to the ground and pound here. And he'll end up sprinting into the end zone. Dolphins trail now by just seven. Staying late in the second. It's going to be a one play here. And he'll go in for seven yards out. That puts them up by two touchdowns. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back down to Miami for the start of the second half. And he's met head on right there at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The third quarter begins with this play. And Lawson's in on the tackle. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space. And sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. And Parker, we're looking at a quarterback who has been beaten up, but has still found ways to make plays. Well, it's not a perfect game, Jim. It's a game of adversity, and this quarterback has dealt with some tough adversity here today, and he has come through when he is getting hit. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. The defense had that one covered. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. One of the best ever, Shane Leckler out to punt. Yard. That time he only gets a couple yards, and if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. Now first and ten. Handoff out of the eye formation. Lynch is tackled down. The Dolphins have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Lynch has been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. This is third down. Tight end in motion. Ponder's going to take it from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. 
Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. They'll take it at the 20. The Ravens come onto the field for their next series. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. For a gain of about five. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Let's go. They better hurry to get the snap. There is a flag out. Fast off offense. After three, being three. stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Three, and Cruz is go. a receiver three, in the yeah. slot. Play fake. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and 10. Offense lines up here. Let's go. Out of the shotgun formation. And now he'll take off. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Beautiful job that time by the QB. He goes back there in the pass play. He doesn't like what he sees. And he just takes off and gets the yards and gets a first down. They need to get the playoff. Keeps it here. Down the field. What a catch. Good piece of tackling. And now as we see the stats, you have to love these type of numbers from one of your key wide receivers. Phil, two straight games, he's got the done. Yes, we've watched this guy play, Jim. Uh, you can look at him and you can tell, boy, he has fresh legs. He is flying around and he is getting open. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Bailey's in the slot. Midway into the third. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he takes off. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. Third and ten. Keeps it here. He'll throw it over the middle. Did not get both feet down. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage. And there was just nowhere for the quarterback. That play is going to be challenged. Challenge flag is out. He challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. Well, I, I agree with the head coach still. I would have made this challenge because it was so important to the outcome of the game, and it was a little bit of a gamble, but it was Let's worth go. it. Takes it from the gun. Secures it with two hands. The Dolphins' defense, boy, they were bending, but they would not break. And they get off the field with a fourth down stop. That's all that matters. Go to the sideline and just say to yourself, go, another job go. well done on the defensive side. You give them some first downs, but when it counted most, you got it done and got off the field. You got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. Second and nine, Lynch, and this will end up as a two-yard loss. Well, Jim, that didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third and longs. They're hard to get in the go, NFL. Third and 11. They bring him down in the end zone, and that'll be a safety. Pass 
kicks it away. There's a flag out. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. The Ravens Three. offense Three. now coming out. They bring in the Let's extra go. tight end. First down at the 30. Play fake. A lot on this throw, and Jermichael Finley brings it in. They have the lead, and the spread offense and aerial attack has been the difference maker. Well, every coach wants a quarterback who can get it done. I'd say the guy here today, Let's Jim, go. he had an outstanding day, and he got it done. What a performance. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second and ten. Finley's got the catch and the first. You love to see these players who can bounce back quickly in the league, and this quarterback has done this after a dreadful performance a week ago. Yeah, you like to see players come back. I'll tell you what, Jim, if you don't bounce back, you know what happens to you. You go to the bench, but good for this guy. What a day he's having so far. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. One team's running the football, the other is passing, but both are working with their game plans. Yeah, they both are working. As you look down there on the field, one set of running backs are really happy. On the other side, the wide receiver group, they're really happy. So as long as you get it done, that's all that matters. And Cruz is lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and 13. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Baltimore Ravens lining up for the field goal. The kick is through for three. Jim, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. He'll take it from the one. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They face first down. Christian Pock will be under center. Lynch is handed the football, and that's Barry in on the stop. If you want to run the football to success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Dolphins take it from the 23. Jernigan's in on the tackle. Lynch is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Third down and six. As Olsen, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. He wants to return this one. He's tackled right at the 24. And as the third quarter comes to a close, we'll take a short break before the beginning of the final quarter here in Miami Gardens, Florida. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Coming up, second down. Trying to beat the play clock. Handoff goes to the left, fights off the hit. That brings the play to an end. 
running the football. Not every team can do it, but today we're seeing two sides. They came in here with a clear desire to run the football, and they have done just that. They've done well. The offensive lines have played very well. There's no doubt about that. But look, the defenses, I'll say this about both of them. I don't think they're showing enough hustle. And if you don't hustle, you're going to get run off. Second down now. The play clock's running down. He'll keep it on the play fake. Going for the home run. And he's intercepted. Ball's out. And the defense has it. Nice job that time by the offense. Even though they fumble it, at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it right away. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First down and 10. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. The Ravens lead, and all you have to do is look at the turnover ratio, and that tells the story, Phil. It sure does. And listen, everybody calls them turnovers, but let's look at this here game we go, here. here we go. I wow, call wow, it wow. takeaways. Wow. They are taking the football away from the offense. What a job by the defense. Got the completion. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Third down and eight. Throws the pass. Pulls it in. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he... He takes the safe route, throws it short. Defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. He's going to try and return this one. In on the stop. The Ravens getting set now for the next series. First down at the 43. They'll go ground, left side. He's tackled right at the 43. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Moore's there to take him down. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Keeps it here. Launches it down the field. Six in the books. Not many quarterbacks in this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. The Dolphins have let this one get away from them today. Need to try and turn things around in a hurry. The score's 33 to 7. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Dolphins getting ready now to start their drive. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 20. Going for it all, Christian Ponder. Touchdown. What a job by the receiver making that catch on the deep ball. Looks it in, makes the catch, and and goes all the way for the touchdown. The Dolphins with an extra point try on the way. He made it. here for the onside kick. They'll park him at 
the 41. The Ravens come onto the field now for this next series. First down at the 41. Handoff made. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Second down following the run. Play clock's running down. The give out of the eye. He'll go left. Taken down just two yards short of the first. As we look at the matchup at running back, hard to find fault in anything either one of these guys has done today. Yeah, this is unique. This is fun to watch. You got a close game, and usually at this time we go, well, it's going to come down to the quarterbacks. Well, not today. It's going to come down to these running backs. Games 18. The Dolphins are giving up a ton of yards through the air, which is surprising because this secondary usually dictates the flow of a game. Yeah, they've been good all year long, Jim. They do have a good defense. When you talk about their secondary, they can cover guys, but today it has been rough. They are going to get some very fast receivers. Running the football is a mindset, and it's one this team has today for sure. You can tell this was the thought process all week long by the Let's offense. Go. We're going to go out there. We're going to out-tough the other team and just run the football right at them, and it has worked well. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Offense lines up here. Let's go. Play action. Gets away from the pressure. Cruz had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. When you see a receiver drop a pass, it does go through the quarterback's mind. Well, he's a good player, and I want to keep his confidence level up, and I want to keep him into the game. So when you get a chance, you throw him another football so he can make that catch and get right back in rhythm. Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. The Dolphins ready to take over the football. Nickel formation here for the defense. Here we go. Here we go. Right 18. Thunder standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Catch made. The Dolphins get a first down. First down here. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Out to Stills. There's no doubt. Time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. From the gun. This play will hold up. He's inbound. That out route that time was run to perfection by the receiver. He made such a sharp cut. He gets gives himself some space from the defender, and the quarterback puts the football right on target, just short of that first down marker. The Dolphins will take the snap from the 45. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver. Just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Here we go, here we go. 118. Right right. Third and six. Set up screen. That's a gain of 10. It's frustrating in it for a defense. He gets so close to the quarterback. You think you're going to get a sack. He gets rid of the football before you get there, and it's go, a screen pass. Nice job. Nice call. Picked up some good yards. Green's got it. And a first. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Here we go. Here we go. 118. Drop back, shotgun formation, eyeing that left side, out to Stills. He stacked up at that point. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Holding on to the timeout, they'll rush back to the line. A.J. Green with the catch. 
It's second down. About a minute remaining in this one. Time continues to tick away as they'll rush back to the line. Looking across the middle. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Empty backfield look for Ponder here. Here we go, here we go. Y18. Third and goal from the one. Incomplete. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Nothing will drive a coach crazier than a false start penalty. False start. Should be what we call a gimme. And he puts it through for three. That was a nice long drive by the offense that time, and it stalls out. But good job by the kicker coming in and putting three points on the board. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone. right at the 30-yard line after that return. First down here. Offense lines up here. Tight ends in motion here. To the ground, looking for space, left side. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. You gotta run. Let's go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, from Miami. Baltimore takes the win. They uh, continue on with winning football games. Baker Mayfield in only a second game this year. This time out, he has a fantastic outing. He doesn't get hurt again. And the Ravens win 36-17. They continue to march towards the playoffs with another win here. And we, uh, we now will advance on to week 15 with just three games left in the regular season. Uh, last, the last week of the season will be Baltimore and Cleveland, which is going to have the possibility of being for the division really is so we will go ahead and advance the week and we're gonna see what happens Cleveland if they lose a game then that game that last game of the season should Cleveland lose to Cincinnati specifically that last game of the season does decide the division who gets the number or the division uh, this is gonna be a tough game for the Ravens they need to win out to have that uh, chance. As you can see, the Colts are moving. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Um, that's one of our teams that will be moving. So we're going to go ahead and delegate game prep and progress players. As you can see, Ravens defense, not so great. Offense, best in the league. Uh, you, you can't argue with it. Landry threw for 3,000 yards, and to be honest, as much as I enjoyed having Baker Mayfield out there, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put Landry Jones back out there. And you can see there's not much of a difference. Landry's earned his role. I wanted to play a game with uh, Baker. And, and I think Landry should be where he is. Drew Brees, definitely one of the best passers. But besides the point now, let's take a look at the results from week 14. So Dallas defeats Chicago. Pittsburgh stays in it by beating Cincinnati. Washington defeats St. Louis. Giants defeat Tennessee. Carolina falls to New Orleans. Minnesota beats the Jets. We witness Baltimore beat the Dolphins. So the Dolphins and Jets are still tied for their division. It's getting exciting, especially noticing this score right here. Indy beats Cleveland. Now all the Ravens need is for Cleveland to fall at the hands of Cincinnati. And we've got a great game in that final week. Tampa to beat, eats Detroit. 
Jacksonville over Houston. Denver destroys Buffalo in a 51 to nothing blowout. Kansas City over Arizona. Seattle beats Philly. Oakland defeats San Fran. New England with another win. Look at that as it comes down the stretch. New England's getting back in this. And the Packers defeat Atlanta. Uh, it might be a little too late. Too little too late for uh, New England. But uh, as you can see right there, in the AFC North, it's extremely tight. Cleveland falls to 9-4. and four. The Steelers are 8-5. and five. The Ravens are 8-5. and five. So as you can see, the Steelers actually do hold the best uh, divisional record right now. Or uh, best home wins. My bad. My bad. Actually, no, they do hold the best divisional record. I again apologize. They they do, in fact, hold the best divisional record. Um, wow. Okay, then. In the AFC South, you have uh, Jacksonville still leading there. Tennessee's uh, in or not Tennessee, Houston's in second. Dolphins and Jets are both seven and six, with the Patriots sitting at five and eight. Uh, the Patriots would need the Jets and Dolphins both to lose two out of their last uh, three games. And considering that both of them play the Patriots, it's possible that they lose a game there. The Patriots are going to be scrapping and clawing and trying to get into that. Broncos are still leading there over the Raiders. In the NFC, the Vikings have already clinched their division. They will be division champions. They are the division champions of the NFC North and will be in the playoffs. As of right now, it looks like they're going to be the two or the number one seed at that. Uh, Buccaneers and Saints are both seven and six, so we might get a winning record out of the NFC South. In the NFC East, you have the eight and five Giants and the seven and six Cowboys going at it. And in the NFC West, you have two teams tied at 7-6, and six, and the Seahawks are not out of it. So as we come down to the wire, your top teams in the AFC are the Broncos, Browns, Raiders, Jaguars, Steelers, Texans, and the Ravens. So as of right now, the Ravens are on the outside looking in at the playoffs as... Actually, so are the Texans, because you have the Broncos, Browns, Jaguars, or Broncos, Browns, Raiders... No, 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 no. Broncos, Browns, Jaguars, and the Dolphins right now is your divisional winners. And the Raiders and Steelers are currently your two wildcard teams. So it's going to be interesting to see who gets in. Uh, it's still possible that two AFC North team gets in. Uh, the Texans need to lose. The Raiders need to lose to for the uh, Ravens to have a chance. The Steelers look like they're in a good spot already. But again, one either the Steelers or the Ravens could possibly walk away with the divisional uh, championship. So we'll, we'll see who wins the AFC North. It's, it's very interesting. The AFC East is uh, another interesting. So as we come into this, we have Cardinals, Rams. Um, I'm going to look through. I'm not going to put the Dolphins up three weeks in a row, even though that would be a great game. Um, hmm. Bengals, Browns, anybody? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be Bengals, Browns, ladies and gentlemen. Bengals and Browns. So there you have it. Uh, teams are saying goodbye to their old f homes. Uh, Looks like it's going to be another interesting one here in week 15. Ladies and gentlemen, week 15, we are just three games away from the playoffs. We'll get that game to you coming up. Remember, Cleveland hosts Cincinnati. Uh, this will be the third trip to Cleveland that we have broadcasted. I believe all of them have ended in losses. Uh... <laughs> It's tough playing Cleveland, but we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll see what's caused the fall off in Cincinnati, possibly. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for week 14. We will see you next time for week 15. Thank you.